kind of, you know, work around Greninja things because mm -hmm. Greninja, you know, once he does land his things, they hurt. Yeah. <laughs> he takes it for a ride. Oh, this is gonna bait. Oh, I love the freeze frame. That, that's a great shit. freeze. That's, so that, that's a great freeze frame. It's still there. It's still there. <laughs> it's only up that side. That's so good. So this matchup. Um, from what I have learned, uh, Pikachu is gonna have a field day here. Yeah. Um, Pikachu is gonna have a very large field day. As is tradition with most Pika matchups. Yep. But, uh, especially so with this, you know, fast faller. Gonna be great for combos. Um, me, Brawler, even with the flip kick, his edge, his like recovery is still very susceptible to like a, the best edge guard in the game, Pika. Yeah. So it's like it's Jules is really gonna have to for this. Yep. Um. I called you out in your set against Jules, by the way. Did I roll into there or something? Uh, no, you neutral get up like 18 times and got killed for it at least three times. So the first couple times, <laughs> I realized he wasn't punishing it. And then you know me. The, I was like, <laughs> the I was no mix. I, no mix if, you, mix if you go back and look at the bot, I said Nuggets is a big fan of the no mix <laughs> up mix up. It's just like, because everyone just respects you. They're like, oh, he's a he's like, he's good in his region, bro. Like, he, he won't do the brain dead option. It's like, yeah, all right. Get <laughs> um, but, like yeah. I mean, here. I'm trying to think of opportunities where Mii Brawler will have an advantage, and I guess that is that Pikachu is light, and, you know, maybe he'll die a little bit earlier, but uh, as Woodsy was telling me, uh, that Brawler up, smash, or up B apparently does not kill as early as it looks like it does. Yeah, it's surprisingly not cheese for all of the other Brawler <laughs> yeah. aspects he has. It's, uh, I think another thing that's going to shine for Brawler in this matchup is ledge trapping. He's very quick. He has a good, fast, lingering Nair that's good for your true accepting quick attack off ledge. And just general attempts to quick attack to center seat. And up smash. Up yep, smash will do a lot good. of work. Tomahawk up smash. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that's, yeah, I guess that is true because especially with DM being a little bit uh, overzealous with some of these quick attacks on the stage, I guess Nair will off get him the room he needs to, you know, get this percent and get these kills he needs. Yeah. And then that move apparently does 20%. That's also something I learned. <laughs> I'm glad he's starting to use it more because I realized during our set, I could just start shielding. And then he like, he only started doing it like towards like the end the, of the third yeah, game. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. No, because shielding Loki really good against the characters. Similar to Fox. They're very, this is just better Fox. Same struggles though. Yep. I also found out from Woodsy, all of, um, all of me Brawler's neutral moves are one frame slower than Fox's. Even Jab? Jab's like ring two or something? Like Apparently. Oh, wow. That's that's what he said. Now, whether or not don't he worry. lied to me. <laughs> I was going to say, don't worry, DM. I would have rolled in there. <laughs> <laughs> I would have, too. Yeah, I 100% would have, too. Um, that's... See, that's the other thing. I feel like right now, Woodsy kind of wants to stay a little Woodsy. bit above... <laughs> oh, wow. Great Woodsy. <laughs> great Woodsy. <And> Miles <laughs> <are> finals. <laughs> the great jewels. The great jewels. <laughs> the two, uh... Stay just a little bit airborne here, like uh, enough to you know always have the threat of the tomahawk because that's yeah, gonna be his strength here is the tomahawks. Good. You know whether it be tomahawk grab, tomahawk up smash, tomahawk whatever you want, an imagination. Uh, Dash attack will unfortunately kill you though even on town and city. Uh, I have a question actually, and I knew you'd know the answer because I was wondering about this. Hollow Bastion, what's the ceiling like? FD, everything about it is FD. Everything about it is FD. Yeah. It's super weird because like the sides. Sometimes you dot the side and you don't think you will, so it kind of feels like it's not FD. But that's because the stage itself is smaller than FD, right? The stage is actually the same dimension as FD, and the platform is about the same width as Smash Hill, but it is lower to the ground. It is slightly above the height of small battlefield platform. That was a really good up B out of that uh, situation there, because I feel like if he had, you know, just waited a little bit longer. See, Jules knows how to hit <laughs> out of... Uh... Down throughout the under. He also DI'd it, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> he just doesn't put his controller down when he gets grabbed. Like, I don't know, bro. <laughs> it was it was unfortunate to watch, but um you know, trying to trying to take this first game as best he can. Yeah, he's doing it. He's playing low commit. He's that was crazy. That was really fast. That was uh, he's so landing fast. aggressive. Oh wow, that was barely or some that was some weird. DI I think he held in because that angle shouldn't have yeah. been the angle um take your dash attacks on jail. You know what I think that was? I think it was, I think it was no DI because he wasn't ready for it. Into recognizing he already got hit, so he started drifting in because he wanted center stage. And then after drifting in with the trajectories, yeah. Got hit as well. so. 
but he still has two games to work with here to figure something out. He loves going, going to Hollow. He loves going to Hollow Bastion. Oh yeah, no, he cr he's crazy. I low key was gonna take him back there at game four, but I felt like I was low key getting baited. So. Yeah, well, you. Oh, not only that, it doesn't give you the space to work with as much as you would like. That's why I think the town and city pick for yeah. game four for you was good. But it was weird because it's like I bodied him game two on it, and I was like, hmm, maybe. I mean, game three, game three, I think he just made some great adaptations versus Definitely. you, but we have a game two here in front of us of DM versus Jules that right now, I mean, this apparently is Jules' favorite stage, but he yeah. is getting fair train right off Jules at the end. Yeah, now with no flip kick, he has to... DM not quite getting the punish there. He would have to only use the up B there. Yeah. And just like that, Jules is winning. That <laughs> <laughs> move was 20%! So crazy, <laughs> oh, man. But, um... Yeah, I mean, it's just, that's this is a tough matchup to watch. I'm not going to lie. It yep. feels like me, Brawler, could do a lot, but then Pikachu just goes, I'm Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, just, I feel like the real struggle for me, Brawler, in this is just Pikachu's size. Because he's limited to using predictable landing errors. Like, he has to do, like, uh, lowest hit bear. bear. Yeah. He has to do, like, nair. And it's just, like, when, you, when you're when you really relying on those kind of things and those kind of timings, it makes it super easy to parry and just play around them in general. Yeah. So, which we have not seen DM do actually much at all, so maybe being a little bit more aggressive with his options, but even just shielding them, Pikachu having the great out of shield options does, will make it tough. I really thought that jab was going to kill, but apparently it doesn't go anywhere. I really liked it though to intercept DM, because DM definitely wanted to overshoot dash attack. Right? Yes. Like he's been, he's been fishing with these dash attacks the entire time. Yep. That's a DM special. And if it's not dash attack, it's up throw. Yeah. That was a good flip kick over uh, DM's fair attempt, and then he's going to land with the Nair and take the first stock. It was great. I'm learning so much about all the things I've missed out over the yeah. <laughs> over my little intermission. Soon you will return to your knowledge of your infinite library of Smash Wizards. <laughs> <status. laughs> oh. uh, that just happens a lot. I don't really know why. I don't know if someone's knocking or, you know. you haunted. <laughs> GU is haunted. <laughs> That, uh, I'm a little surprised that didn't kill, but I guess, again, it's FD ceiling, so I have to remember that now. I thought it was, you know, lower ceiling than it looks, because the stage looks smaller than FD. I didn't know it was actually the same size as FD. Yeah, it's like a weird camera. <sighs> I'd like to see Jules be a little more... That was kind of crazy. But um, I'd like to see Jules <laughs> be a little more comfy when landing, like, not aggressively, and also just opting to go to ledge and just chill at ledge a bit more. Because I feel like he's too. So I think we were actually talking about that. The issue is, um, Jules got hit with. You actually hit him with it. Uh, he was kind of. He was starting to retreat to ledge a little bit, but then you instantly trump back aired him and he died, or he got close to dying, and it just put him in a uh, bad yeah. situation to do that. And I think, you know, Pikachu isn't as potent as killing off of a trump like Peach, but still, it's just like, once you're in that trump situation, it's just really, really tough to yeah. fight your way back on. He, um, he DI'd them a lot really well, though. Yeah. Calling out the uh, yeah. airspace. It's like, yep, that's that's a zone you weren't safe in. Yeah, that's a classic DM thing. He likes to jump, be aggressive, uh, and land back onto stage. Either, whether it's like a jump fair or like a, like a T jolt or something. That's a huge thing you gotta punish uh, if you can't the max it. Just doing it right there with the landing on there. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean. Still, I mean, percent lead for DM is true right now, but I mean, you know, one suplex and a couple, couple bare, narrow yeah. combos, and uh, we're right back in it. Or if we but, see uh, like, like uh, Jules is hitting a lot of the um, back like air hit, nair into jab lock F smash. That will just eviscerate yeah. Pika. Yeah. Uh, he actually dropped that against. Was it? Yeah, it was you, right? He. No. No, I think it was. Um, I think he did it against. Yeah, he's just jumped from ledge. A lot of people have been today, and I feel like as as long as I've watched DM play, he always will love to just catch out your jump with a fair. Oh, yeah. Like, because he you know? like has so many lingering Options. areas yeah. that will just catch jump for free. Oh, that was a good fair. That was a really good fairy, and I think that was one of those things where the up smash is great because when DM's in the air, he can't parry it like that. But when he's on the ground, it is a lot. Yeah. You're at the risk of getting parried. Just he like rolled that. into that too, right? Like it might have been just Jules had the roll read and fucked up. No, I don't think he rolled. I think that was just a perfect parry in Suwon, because I think he was standing still. Oh, okay. Um, do you think um, DM, if he does clutch out this set, will uh, go Pikachu all games against you? 
So I think his Pyromythra was doing well. Yeah, um, I'm not too sure. I. It's just you kind of you got him off stage and you killed him with turnups, and that's yeah. kind of the matchup. So. I think um, I think it's tough because every time he wants to go Pika, it's usually like stage dependent, but also it's usually like I feel like it happens on a stage that he wants. That's good for Steve too, so he has to make a good decision. So. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, because I remember uh, after game one, he went Pikachu because of FD, and I thought yeah. that was a little strange, but. Either way, Pika's looking very nice now. It so. is. It is. I don't know why he's doing the, the jump catch uh, side. There it is. That's right. Uh, he even he, yeah, he messed camera. it up again. Yeah. That's true. But um, uh, he's doing that, I think, just to stall his time in the air. Because I think because DM is doing similar options of like the quick attacks to try to get the uh, move after. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just a little bit to stall his air time. Uh, stay a little bit in the air because like I said he wants to stay just about that height because then you know there are options for you know landing there you know landing um, just tomahawking in general from that position so yeah. I think he likes to be in, in that little height the side B helps him stall a little bit but mm -hmm. unfortunately he did miss that jab confirm and that probably would have been a stock for him with the F smash so yeah. It was. Uh, Ooh, the that's rolling. basically oh, good on that, too. Perfect. Caught Pikachu in a T-Jolt and said, no. Nope. Stop jumping! Stop jumping when you're alive! Please! Ah! <laughs> Please! Please! <laughs> Stop jumping. Any challenge percentage. Words. Oh. Not quite punishing. I think he should have probably tried something different to punish that there. For the um, landing down air. Stop jumping! Oh, boy, I wanna die. If you're gonna jump, <laughs> at least SDI it. Like, cause you'll, you'll fall out of that move with rage. Yeah. Would back throw have also killed there? From Pika? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. He was, he was pretty high, so yeah. that's why I was curious. He was high um. up there, some might say. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so, you know, uh, still, you know, Jules with the, you know, you were saying it, and then it just went away. The lead just went away. It's happened a lot today, and I, I do feel bad. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll stop commenting on the uh, current state of the game and just keep back tr you tracking. You have it biased. Like, wow, Pika has a really strong lead. It'd be a shame if he got side beat. <laughs> it took 20. <laughs> oh, man. See, now it's even. And now he jumped from ledge. <laughs> stop jumping. <laughs> Please. Okay, that was good to use the uh, yeah. armor on the... Kick. Uh, yeah, I don't think that would have hit in a million years. That kill? What? I he thought that rage. didn't. He oh, rage. okay. And he was um, he was more than double jump up the height, by the way. Like height. Yeah. But not enough people use a move to just kind of meaty through T jolt and hit Pika for approaching right after. And that was really good by Jules when he did that. Yes. And I think many other players will have a better time for speaking to you if they do that. If your character has the options to do that. <laughs> The foxes are. That is. That was a lot of damage for a little string there. I like that. That's the other thing. Up tilt hitbox is just so bizarre. Yeah, it's super it's, weird. It's bizarre. Sometimes you're like, oh, it has no range, and then it hits you, and you're like, what? Yeah. I, I remember I saw it hit someone behind him earlier, and I was like, yeah. wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not how this works. Good deal. Uh, that was yeah. Especially living at this percent. Oh, what a snipe. <laughs> Should have been mashing a little bit more, I think, because he did have to get yeah, that was, was, like was pretty that pummels. was pretty that was pretty perfect pummels. He needed those extra pummels, so yeah. if you were just able to break out, you know, yes, you're still in a little bit of a disadvantage state, but at least you didn't die. Yeah. Oh. And now you just got to be careful of the. Here comes uppy. Oh, you yeah, if you got yeah. The, yeah, the right angle on that up there would have been uppy. Yep, and that would have been a very unfortunate end to a uh, good game. <laughs> Not quite getting an attack from range up. That was, that was overzealous. Yeah, this is tough because now it's like when you're playing against Brawler, like not only does he like really struggle against shield, but he's just super straightforward. Like he wants a bear. He wants an up smash. Yep. It's like, it's tough. I mean, if he can get a little bit higher in the percentage range, you know, eventually his Nair will kill. But even then, you know, a lot of these moves are very telegraphed. And oh, he's the wrong way. He thought it's wrong. Okay, I didn't see. That was an interesting idea. I haven't seen him use that yet, so maybe trying to mix up DM's options there. I think he had a grab there. I'm yeah. not sure if Brawler has a kill on. Um. What are you doing? Ooh, yeah, not not punishing opportunities that he are presented with. Yeah, now he's kind of just hoping for a bear. Like, yeah, he's, he's just throwing him out, hoping a straight one will land. 
Good DI on the death attack, but this. this jump from ledge? <laughs> he did! He did! <laughs> <laughs> live and die by the jump. Random dash attack? Back throw. What? Down throw! Did not. No, that was a good idea because it almost killed. Oh, you know what that probably was? The mix up on back throw because you DI in on the down throw and you die. That's probably what that was. I'm with it. I'm with yeah, it. He's smart. Stop jumping! Yes. Stop jumping! <laughs> <laughs> You're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Up there. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Just remove your jump. Good luck in Thank you. I will try not to. Just remember throw. if you win. You're still paying for everyone. Who <laughs> 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 All right. I am gonna. I, I, wait a minute. <laughs> oh. So now we have grand finals. Um, it will just be me.